Hello everyone, this is Running on Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies and gentlemen, and everyone watching, this is Running on Empty Food Review, and I am your host, The Report of the Week. So thank you for checking in. I still am alive. I still am alive. I am, well, I'm, as far as I'm concerned anyway, in one piece. I'm pretty sure I am. I can guarantee you this tie is not is not holding me together. I am in one piece, and uh, so far I'm, you know, the hurricane, because I am in Florida, has yet to impact. I'm keeping an eye on it. I'm, I'm tracking it, but, you know, uh, staying safe, staying prepared, and, uh, you know, fingers crossed for the best so far. But either way, things continue on with the channel. I figure, well, you know, I'm kind of done preparing. I've got everything set up for the most part. I may as well consider, you know, looking around, seeing if there's any fast food places still open, and see if there's anything to review. Uh, because again, with the hurricane impact, lots of places might be closed, I might not have internet for a while, so I may as well just get something in while I still can. And sure enough, believe it or not, the Golden Arches had me covered. I, I was looking around, I was, I was scampering, I was scratching around, I was looking around for things to try, and uh, believe it or not, I was actually shocked that they had this out already. I went over to McDonald's and I saw there was this new poster, they must have just put it up. Uh, right at my McDonald's that said the I believe it was the sweet and spicy I think that's an airplane. I don't know what that is uh, I, The sweet and spicy glazed chicken tenders are back Yeah, there's the supply of the chicken tenders coming in right now. They're flying them in in droves and uh, They're back though, and I was looking around for the menu and there's like There's no info on these things at all. Like I know they were gonna be back and I tried these once before last year, and they were really good. I was a fan of these. Uh, but you know, when some places re-release things, it's like, eh, why did they have to do this? It's like, you know, they had a really good thing going, and they ruined it, you know? So, I'm going to be retrying these out. I'm going to see, all right, are they still any good? What do they taste like? Uh, did they ruin them? Did they not? And so on and so forth. Um, but I think that these are going to be released nationally, uh, probably later in the month of uh, September. That's my that's my guess. That's my educated guess. They're going to be coming out later in September for, uh, you know, everyone else. But in some locations, they may be released locally, like they are here. I don't know if McDonald's kind of just says, oh, you poor, you poor miscreants are going to deal with the hurricanes. We may as well just give you these things early. But either way, we're going to try them out. You can get them in a four-piece or a six-piece. And you can kind of see that they really squeeze this thing in the bag. It's not really... Well, we'll just have to do it. There we go. And... There are the napkins. So yeah, these tenders are going to be an interesting one anyway. These are their spicy barbecue glazed tenders. And it's like they're, um... Like they're, they're buttermilk chicken tenders smothered in this, uh, well, this spicy barbecue sauce. Uh, it's supposed to be a little sweet, but it's also supposed to have this little bit of almost a, um, I believe I heard a southwestern, like, almost like a little bit of a jalapeno spice to it added. So they're supposed to just be a little sweet, uh, but of course on the spicier end as well. And again, I tried these a year ago when they originally had these, uh, released for the very first time. And I enjoyed them, and I, I really did like the sauce coverage, so we're going to see. Alright, here's the box. Here. Uh, gl gl glazed Tenders. Right there. You know? The, uh, the insignia. Now it should be, say, the six-piece, but I don't know, they didn't do that, it's fine. And now let's open them and let's see what we see. All right, there they are. Six-piece tenders right there. They're kind of resting in here. There I am with them. Let's 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 do this. Let's be all dramatic this time around. Man, why not, right? Yeah, there they are. Though you can see, definitely, they're in there. There I am, kind of looming over it. There's my eyes looming over. Like that. Alright, and let's get one out and let's hold it up for you and let's see uh, what it looks like here. Uh, how about we go with 
this one. Let's see. There it is, anyway. Sorry that the uh, camera isn't really totally focusing in on this, but I think you can see what it looks like, though. It's see, you know, it does have a little bit of seasoning on it. It's definitely, though, got a good amount of that glaze on it, and that sauce, it's uh, definitely breaded as well. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's a good amount of, of chicken tender, though. Let me just try and do the autofocus on this thing. Let's just see what happens. There we go. Yeah, you can see good amount of breading, though, and, um, yeah, that's what it, uh, that's what it looks like. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right. With that said, hello, camera. Anyone? Why is it being so weird on me tonight? I don't know. I'm sorry about this, everyone. There we go. I gotta figure this out. It's not like I switched my camera or anything. I don't know why it's being so weird on me. I'm gonna try it out, and I'll try and figure out this camera issue. The uh, sweet, or it's actually just a spicy barbecue glazed tenders from McDonald's going in. You know what? I go ahead. I brought out this nice fork and everything. Just for these. And what do I do? I pick it up with my hands. So I'm going to go all fancy right now. Now we're talking. There it is. I have upgraded the napkins. All oh, right. Well, you know what? Compared to how these were a year ago, I'm still satisfied with them. I think what you're going to notice most about this is that these have a much more pronounced spiciness than I feel they did uh, one year prior. Like, this time around, all right, the one thing I like about these especially, they are very thoroughly coated in this barbecue sauce. So they have a lot of sauce on them. And that's what I like about these. Like, I don't like it when they go ahead with these tenders and they put just uh, such a little sauce where you have these little blotches that have nothing on it, right? These are sauced up, all right? They're going, it, it, it is sauce to the max right here. And that's good, though. That's a good thing. Where uh, you get that flavor in every single bite, which uh, is a big thumbs up to McDonald's there. It's got that little bit of a crispiness. Not too much. A little crunch that's, that's noticeable here and there, but nothing too crazy. And it has this little bit of a sweetness to it. Uh, but again, that is not as pronounced as it was the last time I tried these out. The one thing that you're really going to notice with these tenders this time around, they are a lot spicier. I wouldn't really compare this to a jalapeno pepper, uh, but I would say that this spiciness is definitely there. It's more like just a, um, it reminds me of like that black pepper type of spiciness, but it's definitely strong, it's potent, it's mixed in there with the sauce, and you will be getting that in every bite. It comes in immediately. As soon as it hits your tongue, you're going to notice that spiciness. Um, but it also does linger on as an aftertaste. As I'm kind of giving this analysis of it, I still feel it in my mouth, in the back of my mouth there, um, despite any water. That's not to say that this is like the hottest thing I've ever eaten, you know, it's far from it. But I should say, compared to some tenders that will kind of go ahead and say that they're spicy, and the spice is, you know, very fleeting, it's there and then it's gone, uh, this is most certainly a lingering spiciness, and keep that in mind. So these are definitely on the spicier side, as the name does rightfully imply, uh, but again, do keep that in mind, that they're not messing around here. Um, 
Yeah, I would recommend getting a drink with these. You know, so I would get a drink to kind of cool the, the flames and, uh, or I guess, you know, you know, you know what I'm trying to say anyway, and uh, keep you from keep you from keeling over, as they, as they say. But otherwise, I mean, the chicken is good quality. It's like, again, it's like their buttermilk uh, chicken tenders, which I've always been a fan of. So I think quality-wise, these are pretty good. I think sauce-wise, definitely, definitely savory, flavorful, and uh, very on the spicy side. They are a little on the pricier end, though. Again, I got a six-piece of these, and they were nearly seven bucks, uh, which is pretty expensive for, for some chicken tenders, so... Yeah, it's a bit... It's a bit pricey. It's a good product. I think they taste good. I like the, I really like the sauce. You know, it's definitely on the spicier end, but it's tasty and uh, very flavorful. But I think they are a bit overpriced for what they are. So out of 10, I'm going to give these... Now, considering what they are, I'm going to give them a 7.0 out of 10. Um, because they're pretty good. You know, I uh, give you a little bit more of a crunchiness. And they're a little overpriced. But overall, for what they are, definitely above average. And uh, I would recommend giving them a shot. If they're at your McDonald's in your area, or uh, if they will be soon... Check them out, see how you, uh, how you think of them. And yeah, compared to how they were in 2018, they're still good, still flavorful, still saucy, but a little more on that spicy uh, side of things. Alright, so with that said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Thank you for watching this review of McDonald's uh, Spicy Barbecue Chicken Tenders. And, uh, yeah, I mean, my, I'm sorry, I've been a little scatterbrained in this review. Uh, again, I don't know what's going to happen with this hurricane, it's a Category 5. Uh, look, everyone, just be safe out there. I'll check in whenever I can. I might be without internet power for a long time, so, uh... I'll, I'll do whatever I can to keep you guys posted, but, uh, just take care and, and be safe out there. You know, whether you're in Florida, whether you're in Georgia or the Carolinas, keep your eye on it. And, uh, just, just stay it safe and, uh, be ready for this, because it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna be strong if it hits, so... Be ready and thank you for watching. I don't know if I'm going to get a podcast up this Thursday. I might not. I might not have the resources. Um, but yeah, just just pay attention to the channel, to uh, my social media. Uh, Twitter, I am Review Bra. Uh, Instagram, I am Review Bra. You know, just check for updates if you can. Now, thank you and do take care and just stay safe out there. I'm your host, The Report of the Week, and uh, I'll see you when I see you.